All right, so today is the MLS Super Draft. Uh, just like any other draft, we'll be picking up players straight out of college. Uh, I'm watching it right now. I'll uh, see. We have the sixth overall pick from that we got off a trade a while ago. We have the thirteenth overall pick, which is our natural pick, based on our final standings and where we ended up in the playoffs. Uh, we have a couple second round picks. Uh, there are four rounds overall. Uh, I think we traded all our third and fourth round picks. We might decide to get. We might decide to trade for some. Who knows? Uh, yeah, I kind of made this decision last minute to make this video, so I'm just going to show you my reaction to each and every pick. So, here we go. All right, so uh, Rev's pick is on, is up. Uh, about two and a half minutes before they need to make their pick. Uh, let's see here. Right here, we were projected to draft a midfielder. I don't remember his name, and I can't find the article on the app or the website. Uh, just for the record, this is the sixth overall pick. Uh, we got it off a trade of. A little over a year ago, we traded. Uh, we got uh, Sporting Kansas City's first round pick by giving away uh, one of our forwards. A uh, little under two minutes left. I'm not sure what to expect, honestly. I feel like we got a lot of depth here. I think whoever Bruce drafts is going to be there to develop, which is pretty much what the what this is all about with, every, with mostly every team. I don't know if you just heard that, but they just mentioned Bruce. Alright. Sorry about my hair, it needs to get cut soon. They built out most of their roster, so they have the luxury to go with the best pick available, the best talent available, and they get the luxury to go with Generation Adidas. And at that point, it probably means Henry Kessler, who's yeah. Daryl DK's uh, okay. teammate from University of Virginia. Ooh, and we know okay. Bruce likes taking University of Virginia guys. I think this one's easy. Oh, yeah, that could be coached there. there. Yeah, I think the most yeah, I think he won some national Trump titles there, too, in Virginia. Is that draft room. That's yeah. not in Bill Belichick's basement. Yeah. That's not in Jonathan and Robert Kraft's house. That is in a $35 million training facility that all of a sudden the Krafts have said, we're going to spend money, we're going to spend real money. That's the biggest talking point. And, yeah, oh, by the way, they'll probably take us. Mm. Uh, the pick is in, and you guys will both Let's go. Let's go. Celebrations. Right, let's see. With he is a defender. defender. Yes. Yes. Let's build that defense, boys. Let's build that defense. I like it. I love it. Oh, wait. He's putting on a scarf. Alright, so I will get back to you at the 13th overall pick. So, just found out, uh, our 13th overall pick, we have traded it to Nashville FC, so that may be our last pick for the first round. Second round's coming up shortly after this. Uh, we're about half, we'll be about halfway through this round. Just updating you on that, and I'll let you know when we have another pick. Okay, so the streaming of the draft has ended, from what I can see, but it looks like teams are still picking. Uh, the Revs just picked Simon Lechresner, I hope I pronounced that correctly. He is a defender from California. Uh, I guess he battled some injuries, but started most of, the, most of his games this past season anyway. You know, I love this. I love that Bruce is building up that defense. That is probably the number one thing I feel like we need to work on, death-wise. And just overall, really. 
Because it was hard to trust that defense these past few years. They were all right. They could hold their own for most of a game, but I'm just really glad that Bruce is building it up. Uh, I will let you know when we make another pick. I think we have, yeah, we have one more in this round. Uh, I'm not sure when it is. All right, so our next pick is in. Keegan Mayer, goalkeeper from High Point, University. Pretty interesting to see a Bruce draft a goalkeeper. I, I feel like with with uh, Matt Turner, we we have a great starting keeper. Brett, although now that I think about it, I guess I guess this is a good pick because I mean aside from Matt Turner, uh, the next best keeper we have is Brad Knighton. I love Brad Knighton. He is a great he is a great keeper, but he's getting up there in age, I think. And he's these past several seasons, he's really been that num he's really been our number two. So this this might be a good pick, Keegan Mayer. Uh, you know, put him in the development team for for a year or two, give him a chance to well develop and grow, and then. Uh, maybe he can compete with Matt Turner for that starting position. I'm a little late on this, but I just want to review my thoughts on the draft from a little while ago. Honestly, I love it. Bruce Arena, well, he added depth to positions we needed a little, just a little bit more depth in. I mean, we already have a solid roster to play the season with, but now... Uh, that first pick, he, you know, he added one more defender, which now, which I feel like now our defense is great. It's set. And then he got a, a young midfielder. He's probably not going to see any time, but he'll at least be there for death. And then, of course, um, Myers, that goal, our, that goalkeeper. I feel like he's more of a long-term investment, you know, to kind of back up Matt Turner. Especially with our other two, especially with uh, Brad Knight and Cody Cropper getting up there in age a little bit and not seeing as much time. They may decide to go to another team once their contracts expire. Yeah, but uh, otherwise, uh, I'm going to start posting some more videos soon. Uh, especially about the Revs and soccer coming up within the next month. And I'll be able to do it from the comfort of my own dorm room. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time.